Collectively, we have a water crisis on our hands. I can see in the Solomon Islands the impact of climate change happening left, right and centre. It's affecting the water sector in the Solomon The most terrifying situation is in dry season. The discharge of the raw water could be decreased extremely. Drought, cyclones, high salinity, that's impact our water resources. Half around the world, people have got exactly the same issues. We can help each other. I, I want it to be part of the solution. Water is life and we are the ones looking after the water. feel about the climate change right now. If the rain comes, sometimes uh, the water resource got flood, and then after that, the dry season is getting longer than before. Getting Manang teams and test water as a twin utilities try to develop action plans, reducing non-revenue water and incident and emergency management. We have to prepare not for one year only, but more like 10 or 15 years later, preparing for the future. I think it's very important to collaborate within the water sector. There's so much knowledge to tap into by extending our networks with the Asia-Pacific countries. We are already seeing signs of climate change in Tonga right now. Uh, by focusing on resilience, we can really make sure that Tonga Water Board is prepared for some of these changes. Most of the time we see uh, training as an expense rather than an investment. But since we have agencies coming for assistance, that's gonna be a great opportunity for our staff. My projects back home are just focusing on solar behind the meter, but to come here and see the battery, to get out in the field and ask them questions and share learnings has yeah, been really exciting. The water sector, sharing information, sharing their knowledge, sharing their skills, learning from each other. We are doing this for the people. We're doing this not for only us today, but conserve water for our next generation. Solomon's Water have had incidences of seawater impacting on their water supply, so it's a very direct impact. If we do nothing now, the problems will only get worse. The climate change is now hunting us, so we all need to do something out of what we normally do. We need to go out and train and be creative. Part of the true resilience and sustainability of Solomon Water is building our capacity, the capacity of our people. And I've seen our people grow through this program, and I know we will grow more. To me, that's a great thing. Việt Nam cũng là một trong năm mươi quốc gia bị tác động biến đổi khí hậu, và trong đó thì ngành nước là một trong những ngành dễ bị tổn thương và cũng bị tác động nhất. Còn ở Cần Thơ bao gồm muốn nhập lúng hay là chiều cường thì gây khó khăn với trong cái công tác là quản lý mạng lưới cấp nước. Bên cạnh đó thì cái việc xử lý nước trong cái mùa lũ thì cũng có nhiều khó khăn. Around me today in this room I don't see strangers, I see friends. And with that friendship we can work towards finding solutions to our climate change. In Cassowary Coast we are similar region where we have extreme weather events. Things like high intensity rainfall is changing the water quality and then we have to respond to that. There are things we can learn and things that we can share, we can help each other. Định hướng nhà hành động hỗ trợ chia sẻ kiến thức hai chiều và xây dựng cho cái năng lực trong tương lai. Sometimes you can get cocooned in your own business and not look outside for other ideas or opportunities. This sort of partnership creates a wonderful platform to build ideas with other water professionals. Throw ideas out there and have a wonderful collaborative time. This involvement with Unity Water and Australia, it brings out a better version of us. 
the, the biggest change is we have a big brother now. We have a new connection. Working close with you guys, because this is not the end. You guys bringing system and something for us to follow through. Gary Melling, it's a young, vibrant team, really, really into diversifying, having more women, giving them opportunity to come in board. It's that vibrancy and that tenacity. Um, I'm hoping to take that to my team. Thinking, okay, how can we do things better? How can we improve better? Where are the gaps? I think it's great for people in the water sector to get involved in programs like this, broaden your horizons. It's good to get out and see more. Do it. You'll have stronger skills, more flexible team members, and better knowledge that they can share back across your own organization. I hope this partnership, this friendship is not end after this program. I hope that it will continue in the future. I really love you guys. We are all international organizations striving for a common goal, building long lasting relationships and a better water future for our region because climate change and water have no boundaries. Climate change is a global phenomenon. It does not care what sector you're from, what country you're from, what region you're from, or what village you're from. For us to address it, we need to be united with a collective action plan. I struggle to see how successful we are if we are not together.